Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome, which is www.moto-drome.com. Today we're going to have a look around this uh, 2004 BMW M3 SMG individual. I uh, hope you like it. 2004 BMW M3 SMG individual. Finished in... individual. <laughs> Finished in uh, Estoril Blue Metallic with grey leather. Obviously comes with the fitted hard top. Um, we haven't yet had the hard top off, but we will do um, when I can find someone to give me a hand, get the hard top off, and then we can check the power hood and everything. But um, as it stands at the minute, we haven't had the, uh, the hard top off of it. 19-inch um, alloys, basically a standard spec M3 SMG individual. Um, came to us from a, uh, a dyed-in-the-wall BMW enthusiast that bought uh, an E24 from us. Um, Fitted with rear parking sensors, obviously the hard top, um, 19 inch alloys, auxiliary lamps on the front, colour coded mirrors and everything. And internally, we have uh, electric seats for driver and front passenger. The driver's one's got memory as well. Um, electric windows all round, as you might expect. Um, a nice Clifford alarm immobiliser system in addition to the standard one. Um, Digital climate control. Previous owners reported it's not ice cold. I haven't checked it myself yet, but um, I will be doing a driving video on it. Uh, it's got sat nav, although 16 year old sat nav is no, never going to be brilliant. Uh, and it's also got a DVD um, thing in the boot, which will link to that screen. Uh, Multifunction steering wheel with uh, Tiptronic paddles, trip computer. And have we got leather here? Yes. Got leather on the centre console, that's the individual package. Um, right, let's walk around and pick out a few good bits and bad bits. Now just moving away from this door, looking at the near side wheels, there is a little bit of curbing on the wheels, on the near side. On that one certainly. A little bit on the near side front wheel, not enormous amount though. Anyway, let's go into more, uh, more detailed stuff. Around the front end, very, very nice and straight. There are a few stone chips on the front apron and the, um, and the bonnet, especially including a larger one just there. Um, the BMW badge on the bonnet has lost a bit of its uh, color and paint. What's that? That's just an insect. We've just been driven it back from the workshop. Um, slight mark on the light cover there. there. Looking down the near side of it it looks very very straight indeed down there we have got a chip on top of the near side front wing just there screen wise just a couple of insect marks here on this side certainly we'll look at the other side in a minute near side door looks very good indeed the hard top looks pretty good from this side slight mark just there. there's one exactly the same on the other side that may have been how it's been stored let's put a mark on the guttering there and then inside here one thing I will say is that down here on the sill it is just starting to bubble up a bit on the front of the sill there um, door card all very nice in the back Looks like it's not ever really been sat in, in the back of it. Uh, leather on the passenger seat's very good. Looks like the headlining in the hardtop has sagged slightly actually. Yes it has a little bit. Headlining in the hardtop has sagged. Um, that, needs, that should fasten down there. The oddments tray doesn't fasten down at the back. It's on a spring, unless it's because it's had a phone in there. Yeah, I expect that'll be it. Um, all the dash panels are all nice. Driver's seat outer bolster has got a bit of wear on it, but we'll come to that when we get around the other side. Near side rear wing is all good. It's not bubbling up around the near side rear arches this side certainly and around the tail end we've got a small mark just down there low on the near side rear valance um, slight scratch which would polish out in fairness in the back of the rear bumper just there 
It's all pretty clean inside the boot. Even got its old child on board sticker in there. There's your, uh, your DVD. That's the, sorry, that's, that's the sat nav, not DVD. Excuse what I said about DVD. Um, it's got the um, CD stacker in there as well. Carrying on round the offside. Again, looks very straight indeed down there. Offside rear wheel has got a bit of curbing, especially in the uh, sort of 10 to 11 o'clock position, just there. But no bubbling around the rear arches. Small scratch on the, let's get out of the sun. Small scratch on the um, hard top just there. But carrying on round, driver's doors all nice. One thing I did notice again, is that we have got a bit of bubbling on the mirror housing here, just round there. Screen on this side, we have got a chip just up here in the gradient bit, um, but otherwise it's okay. Is that a chip? Yes it is, small chip just there in front of the uh, M3 vent. Uh, offside front wheel not really curbed. And then inside, on this side, nothing coming up there in the corner. Carpet's nice, driver's seat, as I say, looks like someone's had a go at repairing the stitching on it in the past on the outer bolster. Not especially successfully, in fairness, but um, it is what it is. And there's the multifunction steering wheel and the driver's door card. I think that's about it. There's not much more I can say about it. It does look rather striking, I must admit. So, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. We can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information.